Hey, it's Melissa from Kiwi Banana and today I'm going to do a food haul video for you because I know that some of you would definitely wanting to know how much things cost, um, in particular definitely, you know, supermarket food and, uh, you know, plant-based eating in the Dominican Republic, um, currently in Las Terrenas. Now I will say this before I start, um, I've definitely gone to places where food is much cheaper than here. That's all right, we'll just see what we can do. You can definitely save a lot of money if you um, cook your own food and don't go out here very much for meals. Especially if you're into plant-based eating because there's not that much variety out there for you. Um, you may get maybe one thing on a menu or something that can be made like that for you on a menu here um, in the odd place or two. And I've done some other videos with some other people that run businesses where they do like plant-based food uh, as well and so you will see those um, be released eventually. So so what I bought today is spent about let's say roughly it's about 2,500 pesos um, in New Zealand dollars that's round about 75 New Zealand dollars and this is for like um, for two people for two weeks and I will need to get some more fruits and vegetables because it's not quite enough to um, see us through the whole week. And so yeah, and like we already have some supplies from the previous week and we will be leaving soon so we don't want to get too much of, um, of, you know, of foods. So I guess, so we got, I'm just going to show you, so we got um, three, three green peppers, three red peppers, three orange peppers, three yellow peppers, a whole lot of these tomatoes and um, we got four bags of potatoes you would have um, seen one bag in there you know I'm gonna show you some footage of what I've got on the table here um, we got passion fruit they call it chinola here so I only got, I only got two of those hummus is expensive here I will um, let you know that so it's not that cheap but um, I'm not sure if the blender's got the uh, got the power to make my own hummus. Otherwise, I could definitely you can buy um, you can buy chickpeas here in a tin or dried. I guess with the dried, it's the whole it takes longer for cooking. You have to weigh up. You know, do you want to pay extra for electricity and all that sort of stuff? Um, you know, because of the, obviously the amount of time it takes to cook something dried. Yeah, you still soak the beans and everything like that to cut down the cooking time. But this still does take quite a while to um, to get those beans soft enough. Anyway, so we got some uh, broccoli. We've got like two heads of broccoli. Unfortunately, it's all wrapped in plastic. There's not much I can do about that. Um, sorry for the shaking. This is balancing on a washing line, I guess you could say. Uh, I got myself a, I'm loving the Mame Sapote here. Uh, it's got a range of other names. Um, there wasn't many ripe ones today, so I only just got, just got the one ripe one that I could find that was good. Now the TVP, like textured soy protein, you can get that quite cheaply here. It's like 50 pesos for a bag of this, which is like a dollar fifty New Zealand, which is about a dollar US, and you know, it's it's pretty cheap um, for that stuff. And of course, we got some corn chips. Scott's a big fan of corn chips. Um, these ones, uh, you know, just basically corn and in oil, um, a range of different plant oils in that one. Um, some of them have palm oil too, you know, so sort of things. So sometimes whether you buy that or not, it's up to you. We got um, pine nuts. I thought they were cheaper than what they were, and I checked the receipt later, and they are not. They are still expensive. Um, carrots, of course, all good here. Got some pasta. Still has the may contain. Um, certain uh you know foods that are derived from animals um that doesn't doesn't contain in the actual ingredient list which is obviously produced on the same factory line that um makes other products that are not plant-based rice rice is cheap here it's um they actually grow it here so it's pretty it's not too bad to get um you can get massive massive bags for real cheap just that we're not going to be here for too much longer so we want to get too much rice It'll be a waste. And um, oats, yep, not too bad here. Um, it's pretty easy, quickly, quick way to have breakfast. 
bananas. Now, believe it or not, I haven't actually really been eating a lot of bananas. Um, it's more for Scott. He really likes bananas. are kind of like his go-to fruit. And then I got some tin food. So I just wait a sec while I get that. Um, so it's not, it's not as cheap as I would have liked it to be. Um, this one here is like one of the cheapest and unfortunately it's got high fructose corn syrup on it. Um, so there's not really a lot I can do about that. But it just kind of goes well with the, um, the textured vegetable protein as like a way to sort of flavour it. Um, I had a look at like, vegetable stocks here and they were quite expensive. I did manage to get some seasoning the other week which was quite nice. Just another way to, you know, change up the flavours. So here we've got like four, four cans of the, the beans. Um, you know, it's definitely cheaper to get dried as I said, but it's still that whole, um, you're kind of, you know, it's to do with the time and you have cooking facilities and, you know, are you using gas, are you using electricity, those sort of things need to be weighed up I guess when you're um, when you're looking at those. The white beans of course and then um, some red beans. So we've got two red beans, two white beans and four black beans. And then the last thing I was going to show you is the plant milk. So i um, got a big jug of it here. It's not that cheap of course. And just another way to, um, I've got some carob powder, so I've been enjoying a few glasses of that. So yeah, that is basically my, my food haul. Uh, this is what we've got today. The supermarket's called Super Polar. Uh, on Tuesdays, they do um, discount on their fruit and veggies, so it's not a bad time to go there. Stay tuned for the next video. I will see you in the next video, and I hope you've done something that makes you happy today.